Hey everyone, it's time for another design tutorial. I'm going to show you how I created this design right here. This is for pixel boxing, 80s inspired. I'm going to show you on ChatGPT what my prompt was for this so you can do another prompt. It doesn't have to be boxing. You can replace boxing for anything else. I'm also going to show you where I found these fonts absolutely free on the font and some several other ones that you can use. I'm also going to show you how to remove the background and show you how to warp or arch the text in Affinity Designer. So we're gonna do all of that in this video. You're gonna learn how to do one just like this or something similar. Again, you can change boxing to whatever you want. Uh, let's get into ChatGPT first and I'll show you the prompt that I used. So here I am on ChatGPT and I'm using StickerWiz and this is the one I did for my design with Detour for boxing. You can see all of these are boxing related uh, and I did my things there and just to show you uh, sticker whiz right here is the one that I use you can see right there as well sticker whiz and the one that I use for pixel you can see I did some vintage ones and some cartoon ones this is it all I did was a pixel version of a boxer really easy so I'm going to show you what the uh, chat GPT's prompt was so a pixel art version of a boxer in a fighting stance wearing boxing gloves the sticker has a solid white background, strong black border surrounding the white die cut border and no shadow. So you can see this is pixel art. Uh, if you want to copy this and try it with something else besides a boxer, maybe you want uh, a wizard or you want something else, you can just change that uh, boxer to something else. And it doesn't have to be fighting stance or wearing boxing gloves, but you can put in what you want, maybe wearing a blue robe and holding a staff if it's a wizard or, or whatever it is, right? So you can you can change this pixel style out. Think of you know maybe pixel video games, um, maybe uh, RPG, maybe uh, it, it really works well for the kind of fantasy stuff too. So uh, and it, it could be food too. So you could do a pixel art version of pizza or whatever. So you can have a ton of different things for for pixel art. I just did it here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download this, and then we're going to have to upscale it. And the place I upscale it is dgb.lol. So I'll go there right now, dgb.lol. I'll go to image upscaler. I'll grab that, uh, the thing that I download, hold on. And then I'm just gonna drag it in here. You can see it's right there. And then I'm gonna make it six times, boom, and submit. And you can see it may take an hour and 40 minutes, uh, but while that's going, I'm gonna show you some of the fonts that I found that you can use for this with pixel fonts from the font that are free. All right, so here I am on thefont.com. So many cool fonts on here, but the ones you can use for print on demand are supposed to be 100% free. So let me show you what I mean. We're gonna go to pixel. There's so many pixel fonts on here. This is probably the best place I know to find pixel fonts. But what you're gonna wanna do is go to more options, 100% free and then hit submit. And so these ones now that say 100% free are the ones that you can use. So some really good ones. I like the thicker ones. So I'll scroll down here and show you what I mean. This one right here, Upheaval, I think is a great one for t-shirts. Let's scroll down some more. Um, this one's not bad, 8-Bit Wonder. This one's pretty cool, uh, Monster Friend 4, but it has some hearts in there. So if you want to get it a little more cutesy, um, but pixel, you can use that. I'm going to go to page two. And this one's pretty cool. I pixel you, one of my favorite ones here. Uh, there's more. The one I used for, for this t-shirt one is this one, Super Mario Bros 2. And I'm going to click on it so you can see. Uh, not only does it have a cool uh, pixel font, but if you scroll down, the reason I like it is all of these extra stuff too. Um, more and more glyphs. And uh, there's some shapes in here that it's not showing as well. So you can download this right here and it's absolutely free. And then you can save it to your fonts, either your font book if you're on Mac or I'm not sure how you do it for PC, but I'm sure there's an easy way to do that. And then we're gonna use this same font in Affinity Designer to create uh, this design. All right, so here I am in Affinity Designer. I'm gonna show you my finished product. So I, I did both versions, 80s boxing here. You can see it's kind of uh, in a circle here and just typing on the path. And then these fonts are Super Mario 2, you can see. And this is also Super Mario 2, uh, just coloring it red and stuff. So I made two versions, one that work on white, one that works on black. 
I'm gonna show you how I cut this out. Let me pretend that this is the bigger version. When I pull it in, it's kind of small, but the bigger version will be like this big and uh, it won't be so pixelated, even though it's pixelated, uh, which is funny, but uh, it, it would be a lot cleaner. But now let me show you how I'm gonna cut it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a mask for it. So you can come in here and use your pen tool. And I know this takes a little bit longer, but it's gonna be a lot cleaner. So I'm gonna click here and then hold down shift and I can keep this straight. While I'm holding down shift, I'm just going like this. You see that? And kind of making right inside of the line. So I can come in here inside and down. Now this is gonna take a little bit of time, um, but that's okay. We're gonna make we're gonna make it a lot cleaner. And I'm not gonna show you exactly the whole thing, but I'm gonna speed this up. But you can see um, if you make a mistake there, hit undo Z or command Z for undo. And you can hold down shift again. And the reason we're holding down shift, like I said, is to make the line straight. So if I didn't do shift, then the next line would be kind of wonky like that, right? Like you, you don't know if it's gonna be straight or not. So holding down shift will make it straight like that. And the reason why we want it straight, of course, is because these are kind of like squares. So I'm going to come in here. Um, I'm going to do the rest of this myself, but I'm going to come in here and go all the way around. So everything that's black come in here. When I come to the shoes, I'm going to go down here and come out and come down here and come out. And when I get back to this original point, I'll come back and I'll show you that the whole thing is totally surrounded. All right, I'm back. You can see I made it all the way around. It didn't take too long, maybe five minutes, less than five minutes. And you can see I went all the way around just following the edges. And I have this right here called curves. And this is the original and this is curves. All I'm going to do is grab this, click on this right here in my layers panel and hover over it. And you can see that it's cut it out. So the way you can test if it's cut out is let's change the background to something like blue. And you can see if we zoom in, it's pretty much cut out. Now, we may have some issues right here. You can see some white. I'm gonna just come in here and we can play around with this and maybe do a black rectangle. So just go like this, copy this color. Boom, now it's fixed. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. We're basically covering it up, what we did. Boom. Uh, maybe this one right here, you can cover this one up and so on. So anywhere where there's a mistake, you can easily cover it up with some rectangle. So if you don't like this gray here, if you want, want this fixed right here, you can totally change all of that uh, if you want to. So if you want to change this to more white, you can come in here. Um, this is just a rectangle, right? And let's say I want this whole thing white instead. You can do any of the colors, but let's say, let's do white here. Boom, and kind of kind of clean that up right there, right? Oh, I should have put it all the way to here. Look at that, that looks a much, much cleaner, right? So you can do the same thing, and his foot looks kind of weird here. So I'm gonna do, um, maybe make a rectangle here as well, and color that black. Right, so there you go. Um, I think I did the same thing here. I made kind of his foot a lot bigger. So do it like that and we can match his foot here. Boom, so perfect. So anywhere you want to kind of cover over it or color it or whatever you want to do, use some rectangles, use some squares and do it. So once you're done with that, I'm gonna uh, copy over this whole thing. I'm gonna make sure I group that because what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to color it. So um, let's do this. Let's do, uh, hit command on this group. I'm gonna hit command J and we have the second group that's behind it. We have the curve here um, that we don't need uh, this picture inside anymore. So I'm gonna take it out and delete it. So we have this curve and all of these things. So I'm gonna make all of these things here white and I'll show you why. So white. And you can't see it because it's behind the other group right here. But we're gonna group it. Oh, it's already grouped, but we're gonna um, put an outline, a white outline on it. And you see it? There you go. The white outline, which is this white outline here. 
Uh, we can make that any thickness we want. I'm using, uh, if we looked at the stroke, I'm using seven points right there. But uh, yeah, I want the outline if it's a dark background, right? We don't need the outline on the white background, but if we th this is a dark background, let's say like black or dark gray, we're gonna need that white outline. Okay, good. So next thing we're gonna do is just these. These, that's it. So we're gonna do champion right here. So I'm just gonna hit the text tool. Um, yeah, and then click here and then just start typing champion. And you can see I'm using Super Mario 2, but I'm gonna wanna do the um, white. Now I could have used any of those other pixel fonts that we found on the font, but I, I downloaded this one and I, I liked it. Um, let me show you how to do the hearts. I'm gonna hold down option and shift and drag this down so it's a copy. And then I double click on this and then I'll show you the glyphs panel here uh, you can see the glyphs for Super Mario 2. And there's so many other things that we didn't see. And there they are. So we got star and circle and heart. So I'm just going to double click on this heart and double click it three more times. Uh, one more. Yeah, you go four hearts. Now, if you want it red, of course, you can change it just like any font. You can come in here and change the color to whatever you want. But I'm just going to leave it white in this case. Now the next thing I'm going to do is let's do this uh, like a circle. So we're going to do a circle around him. Um, we don't need it filled, but we're just trying to make it centered. So one way you can make it centered is to go here, align, centered, boom. And then come back to your text tool, click on it. Make sure you have this selected first. So before you do that, select the circle click on the text tool, come in here, you can see it turn into a T here, click on it, and it's that way, and then do 80s, 80s boxing. And it may look like that, so we're gonna have to move some of these things here. So let's move, move this to there, move this to here, these two triangles. Now, what I did was I made this little S, and there's no little S, so one way to hack it is Take out the S like that and uh, move this around again. Make sure that it's straight. So you want this to kind of be even and make sure that this is aligned with that. So you can move these uh, along like that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little S. So this champion here, I'm going to um, hold down option A and copy and just going to click on it and do S. And you can see there's that S right here, but I'm gonna make it smaller. So that's one way I, I hacked it. And then I just turned it to make it fit. There you go, 80s boxing right there. And then again, I'm gonna do the option drag. I just like doing that and double click and then do EST period for established and make it smaller, put it right there. Uh, option, shift, drag. I do this a lot just to copy it so I don't have to hit the text tool again. Oh, I'm going to move this in the back because it's wanting to do this. So right here, send to back, move to back. Now I can click on this and do 1984. The reason I chose 1984 is I believe that's when the punch out came out in Nintendo. So I'm not saying punch out anywhere here, but I think people think of that when they think of the uh, 1984 pixel boxing and you notice I have these up here. That's just a rectangle. So I click on my rectangle um, and make it like that and make sure it's filled instead of a stroke and I can come in. Let's zoom in here and just maybe make it smaller like that. Maybe the same size as these something like that and I'm going to back it out here. Yeah, I did. I did do it about the same size as this T. So if we come up here, do it like that, boom. And then option shift drag and click on both of these option shift drag, boom. And you can just pull it like that. There you go. So easy. Uh, I probably made this guy a little bigger than this guy and that's easy to do. So we're just going to make sure we hit that group as well as this group uh, and hold down this and you can size it down. I'm holding down shift to make sure that it's proportional. 
um, and then move it to, to fit in the center. We know this is already centered. This is already centered, I think it is. Oh, no, it wasn't. So you can center that, click this and center it. Uh, and then just I kind of eyeball where this is. So there you go. Super easy. Again, you don't have to do boxing. You, you could do 80s pizza delivery or uh, whatever, uh, what a wizard or RPG or there's so many things that were uh, put a um, duck hunt or maybe a you can say 80s hunting and put like a dog and, and a duck or something like that. I think that that could work too. So, so many things on this, but I, I think it's a really cool retro style that, that can be done really easily with UI or AI and uh, these pixel fonts that we saw on the font and, and uh, Affinity Designer. So have fun with this one. I'm sure there's pixel fonts in Kittle and Canva as well, but I just like doing it in, in Affinity Designer. So there you go. That was another design tutorial with Design with Detour. If you know other, any other Design with Detour designs or t-shirt designs that you've seen me do online, let me know in the comments which one you want to learn how to do. I'm happy to show you how to do all of them. Just for sake of time, I'm not going to do one every single day, but I'm going to do the ones that people want to see. Uh, if you want to see another Design with Detour video, then watch this one right here. This is my latest one. I have a bunch of them. I have a whole series of them. Uh, a lot of them using AI too. So have fun with this. I think it's something that's really cool to do and, and just another fun style that not a lot of people do. Thanks again for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.